You tell me which is stronger, giving you a smart tip in this video and then saying, hey, do you think what I just said is worth a quick chat? Or my shocking you with what I say and immediately making you curious to hear more. Which is stronger, my asking you, are you interested? Or provoking you to want more details so that you ask me for the next step. It is the same in your outreach email. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you why you should never end a sales email by asking for any kind of interest. In fact, you shouldn't use a call to action either. Sound crazy? It's true. Instead of asking for interest, you need to provoke them to ask you. pointing at a problem and then saying to somebody, hey, is this on your plate right now? Or is this worth a short conversation? Makes you look like a subservient loser. Instead, consider elevating your status by provoking. Don't ask the other person if what you said is worth a conversation. Make what you say clearly worth a conversation. That is how to trigger their ask. People who don't have anything to say say stupid shit like, are you open to exploring? Or looking forward to your response. Now, you may ask me, Molander, how am I supposed to know what to say to provoke them? Simple, part of it is targeting. If you aim messages at people who are most likely to react emotionally, they will get triggered. So I don't wanna hear you moaning, oh, I don't have time for research and targeting, Jeff. Well then, keep on looking like a tool. But I want you to stop asking for interest. I want you to create the interest instead. Is creating interest as easy as asking for interest? No. Because any jackass can ask for interest when ending their email. Instead, stop asking, is this worth a quick chat? Make what you say worth a quick chat. <laughs> and do this by changing the tone of your message from subservient beggar to a provocateur. So, for example, stop asking to share your case study or whatever content marketing that you might use. You don't need to dangle that content. Instead, make your words trigger the ask for it. The difference is confidence. And frankly, saying, less. Less is more in your copy. Think of it this way. You don't need to offer your explainer video or your ebook when your words create curiosity to trigger a request for that. No triggering? It's no wonder. The tone of your email lacks confidence. You sound subservient. Instead, what I'm suggesting is that you provoke and that will trigger the ask. And here's the best part. The ask is actually a signal to you that they're interested enough to ask. And think about it. You don't get that signal when you ask if they are interested. When they ask, it is a great way to filter your leads. No ask, no interest, time to move on. And when they do ask, you are pretty damn sure that they are interested. So remember, any form of asking, are you interested, positions you as needing to ask. When ending your sales email or meetings, start projecting more confidence by grabbing them. Start creating interest and triggering them to ask you to show their interest. Bottom line, any form of asking, are you interested, immediately lowers your status. So instead, get people curious using a more confident tone. In fact, you might consider subscribing to my newsletter or take my complimentary Curiosity Crash Course and we can get started. Just click the link down in the description with the option that is right for you. All right, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jeff Molander and I study how the most successful sellers tend to not persuade. So if you're open to my challenging and changing the way that you think about persuasion and social selling and sales outreach on LinkedIn, I want you to hit subscribe. Consider leaving a comment below, it helps the channel guys. So thanks a lot, see you next time guys.